calculator start with the basic thing that is Schrodinger equation so write down it so you have Schrodinger equation HI equals to the operator structure will be IH cross del psi del T so this will be in general function of XT so this can be written as IH cross del psi del T this is equals to H cut square over twice m del 2 psi del x2 plus v of xt psi of xt so let us write it in another form that is del psi del t is equals to so this will be equals to i h cross over twice m del 2 psi del x2 plus v over ih cross so this is actually function of xt psi of xt so all these are function of xt in general now take the complex conjugate of this equation so what you will get you will get on left side this thing and this will be minus ih cross over twice m del 2 psi star del x2 minus v over ih cross psi of xt so now uh, we have to verify whether this quantity ddt of integration psi xt mod square dx the limit will be from minus infinity to plus infinity is it same with this quantity del del t mod psi x t square t so we have to check whether this is equal or this is not equal to this thing so in principle it should not be equal but in quantum mechanics this always matches so let us see whether this happens or not so let me erase this thing Okay, uh, so yeah, so you know, mod psi x is mod square dx. When you integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity, you always get one because your probability is conserved. So taking derivative on both sides will give you mod square dx minus infinity to plus infinity. That should be zero. So this is known to us now we want to check what happens to this quantity del psi sorry yeah so this is what is this zero or not we have to check this so let us start with this thing so this will be minus infinity to plus infinity okay so i have done a mistake this should not be here yes so this is basically del del t psi star psi dx which is again minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi del t plus psi del psi star del t dx so now you can realize why we have calculated del psi del t so let us uh, substitute the del psi del t and del psi star del t in terms of del 2 psi del x2 so this will be simply integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star and this will be ih cross over twice m del 2 psi del x2 plus v over ih cross psi and the second term will be psi ih cross over twice m del 2 psi del x2 minus v over ih cross psi so sorry this will be psi star this is dx so this term and so let me use z so this term and this term will cancel each other 
you can simply see this so you can see oh sorry I have done a mistake the here it will be plus so you can simply cancel this term and you are left with minus size plus infinity to plus infinity i h cross over twice m psi star del 2 psi del x 2 minus psi del 2 psi star del x 2 dx so now we will do a trick here that is let me do it psi star del 2 psi del x 2 now we will add a term del psi star del x del psi del x and simultaneously subtract the same term but rearranging in another form so this is the addition and subtraction and the last term will be this dx so you can write it in this structure i h cross over twice m del del x of psi star del psi del x minus del del x of psi del psi star del x into x so now this can be written as minus infinity to plus infinity i h cross over twice m del del x psi star del psi del x minus psi del psi star del x dx so this is equal to again i h cross over twice m psi star del psi del x minus psi del psi star del x but integration will be from minus infinity to plus infinity so you know the wave function should vanish at plus minus infinity so this should be zero so now you know we earlier showed that this has to be zero and now we have shown that minus infinity to plus infinity del del t of mod psi square sorry dx is equals to zero so if this happens then this term and this term should be the same quantity so here you can see that the derivative and integration commutes in, in case of quantum mechanics another problem that i think we can discuss here is problem number six where you have to show that uh, there was a continuity equation in quantum mechanics so let we let us start with probability density probability density is equals to so i will name it as rho it's simply psi star psi then del rho del t will be psi star del psi del t plus psi del psi star del t so this calculation will be identical as previous one because here also we have started with this thing so we know what should be the result so it should be simply i h cross over twice m and what it came with yeah, so this is psi star del psi del x minus okay so this is this uh, minus psi del 2 psi star del x 2 and you can also write it by doing that same trick that uh, we have done in previous problem so this will be del del x of psi star del psi del x minus psi del psi star del x so let us define it del del x of j so the j will be here i h cross over twice m psi del psi star 
del x minus psi star del psi del x. So from here you can see we are getting the continuity equation structure where this j is defined as this quantity and this is known as your probability current probability current so hope you have understood everything and let me finish here